Wow. Would you look at that? Beautiful sunrise. Just here out by the pool. Kind of like an infinity pool. Hey friends, good morning, good morning. I am currently in Gunting Highlands in Malaysia. It's been a couple of days. I actually did upload, no, I did film another video before, but I lost the memory card reader, so I couldn't uh, transfer the file to my computer. And by the time I got a new one, I figured, you know, that video's old, so I just went ahead and skipped it. Currently on a work, you know, I took my entire team out, which is consist of my girlfriend, myself, and my editor. However, my editor's family uh, was in town, so we took her parents as well. So her mom and dad are probably a couple floors down. I came to the rooftop to film the sunrise. It's so nice here. So if you've ever been to Malaysia before, or if you've never have, it's usually very warm. But when you come up to Genting Highlands, you're very high up in the mountains. So the breeze is just so nice and you still get the sunshine and the blue skies. Wow, we are just here for breath of fresh air. Probably gonna take a stroll to the shopping mall and where all the touristy areas over there. But for now, you know, just relax here by the pool, take all this wonderful energy in. Oh, I think there's some people already up at the gym. There's a gym over there, quite nice. Yeah, I uh, have been feeling pretty well. I slept pretty early yesterday night, had some beer with my editor, which is very surprising because if you know anything about me, I don't really drink alcohol. But my editor was like, oh, I really want some beer. And I was like really shocked because her mom was asking, hey, do you drink? And she, she had no idea that her daughter drank, so it was fun. Her mom drank with us, and then we just chit-chatted and just had some steamboat, which is hot pot in the U.S. Basically, a family meal, and so instead of like a work trip or a company trip, it was more like a family trip because we all live together in the same duplex, uh, top and bottom, so it's very homey, cozy. And I think that's what, at least if you have a small company, that's what it should be about it shouldn't be about like a boss and employee relationship i'm more of a if you're a part of my team you're a part of my family so super super happy to have such a wonderful team member and the first time that i actually met my editor jade now was with her parents it was kind of like a first meeting i'm gonna uh, go with my daughter to see who this boss is see if he's trustworthy and since then, they've just kind of like handed their daughter off to our team. And now it's been a year and now we're on a trip together. So I hope to many more years to come. Wow, it is just so nice here. Let me uh, take a quick walk with you guys around here. Uh, this is kind of like one of my favorite parts of uh, the condo life in Malaysia because there's so much of these uh, nice sceneries on top of like a really nice facility so i'm from california and in california usually if you have this such a nice condo with like a rooftop pool and gym and everything you don't really get the opportunity to see all this greenery and all this mountain and get just this nice cool breeze especially at such an affordable price wow they even have these steps here that is atas. For those of you that don't know the word atas, it means like it's like luxurious. So nice. Just taking a stroll in the morning. Excuse my croc-like sandals. I just find them comfy. Wow. There's the infinity pool with the sunrise. Amazing. I don't know if the camera can catch that because it's a little overexposed, but Take that in, take that in. <sighs> what a wonderful day. 
Sometimes in life you just gotta take it easy, go out for a stroll, listen to the water. I feel like I'm in nature right now. There's some construction going on over here as well. I think like they're planning to probably develop this whole area, but I kind of like just having it most of it being mountains and scenery. So nice. Malaysia, the mixture of nature and modern life all together. Well, I feel like I'd be a uh, one of those real estate agents walking around the property and be like, oh, so this is the, why you should purchase one or one of those uh, financial gurus standing on top of their nice condo and saying, this is how you can have one of these luxurious lives. Oh, that was a nice tour of the place. So our plan for today, like I mentioned, is probably to go up and then see what Kenting has to offer. A couple of days ago, I uploaded that video of how to make money on YouTube and I was really surprised that you guys really enjoyed it. And I still highly, highly recommend that if you are interested in making your own videos that you do, it can just be so casual. Like, I am so surprised at this opportunity right now because I honestly think in the future, it may not be so easy to upload videos for free and also get paid for it. Because I recently watched this movie called Social Dilemma. If you haven't checked it out yet, highly recommend it. It's on Netflix, but I'm not sure if you can find it anywhere else. It's about the... So there's a lot of good stuff that happens because of social media, but it's about more the negative effects of social media. Obviously, the benefits would be being able to connect with people, using it Free. I can upload all my photos, I can look at the photo library, I can connect with you guys, I can learn tutorials, I can have uh, online classes, just all these benefits, right? But the negative sides are pretty bad too. So in the movie, I don't want to give like too many spoilers, but in the movie Social Dilemma, it's about how all of these social media platforms are created to keep you there as long as possible because by keeping you there they need to make money somehow right they have to pay for the workers pay for the company pay for everything they want to make money so they keep you there so that they can put advertisements in front of you which is why if you upload content like i said about anything that you're interested in you can make a side income like this uh this english channel is surprisingly doing well for just a hobby of mine and so when the platforms want you to stay on top of the uh, app or whatever it is, the website, as long as possible, then they kind of start tweaking with your human psychology. They start looking at how can I get this person to stay longer? So whenever you look at a photo, you stay for maybe three seconds or longer, they will capture that as information. And then whenever you like something, they have a record of everything you've liked. They have a record of pages you visited. That's why sometimes if you were looking up uh, this new toaster or this new car or this new iPhone, you will find that when you go to a different app, you will see an advertisement for it. It's freaky. Sometimes I'm just like talking about it. I don't even type anything out. Or I'm even thinking about it. And then I see an ad about it. That's because they're collecting all this information on us that they can feed to the advertisers to put in front of you the product that they want you to sell or they want you to buy. So one danger of that is all this information they have of you, they can feed you like just a certain type of videos that will keep you there. It may not be everything because there's so much, yeah, I'm just on a really, really wide tangent. So uh, feel free to skip this part, but I just feel like this is interesting to me and this is, something that's impactful to everyone. So by understanding so much about us and keeping us there and just feeding us information that we want to see, it may not be real, it may be fake. So we are kind of wearing like these glasses where we can only see what we want to see. So 
the stuff that shows up on my news feed from my Facebook, my YouTube, or my Instagram, whatever it is, is completely different from yours. It's different from my girlfriend's. And by being that way, we get different information. So I don't really know what's going on in the world. I only know what's going on in the things that I care about. So that leads us to a lot of separation between our what we know and then our, and just what is going on in the world. And it's, it's very scary how like fake news can spread that way too. So without going too far into detail, I just highly recommend that movie because it was quite interesting. Yeah, this is uh, this morning. Just wanted to share the sunrise. I wish you an amazing day. If it's uh, daytime wherever you are or an amazing night, get some good rest, charge up and take in that nature energy. That's it for today's video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Drop a like just to check in. Drop a like because you're amazing. And comment down below um, what you think about social media. Do you think social media is good for us, it's bad for us, or whatever opinion you have. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you all. Take care.